Iran's supreme leader terrified of developments in Middle East. On Wednesday, Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader of the Iranian regime, broke a two-week silence on the intensifying crises that have been engulfing his regime in the Middle East. First, he expressed concern about the critical state of the Iranian regime, stating, The enemy is trying to disrupt the calculations of authorities, thought leaders and the people, so that they can't distinguish their true interests and those of the country. He added that the people should not be affected by the enemy's destructive plots. This remark was Khamenei's admission to the turmoil in his regime and the faltering confidence of his own troops. In another recent speech at a gathering of Revolutionary Guards commanders, Khamenei reiterated his concerns over defections in the IRGC. Iran Human Rights Monitor Iran's regime increases suppression in October Iran Human Rights Monitor has released its monthly report over the human rights situation in Iran. According to this report, the human rights situation in Iran continues to deteriorate. While referring to various protests across Iran, the report stated, Protests erupted in Chamahal Bacteriae province after 300 residents of the Laudagan County became infected with HIV as a result of mismanagement of the Iranian regime's health ministry. On Wednesday, October 2nd, a crowd of residents held a demonstration in front of the Governor's Office and the Health Ministry's Office in Laudigan. On executions, Iran HRM wrote, At least 18 people, including a man convicted as a juvenile, were executed in October. Two men were executed in public. The report continued, The Iranian authorities on October 2nd executed a young man in a park in the northern city of Rasht. Majid Sarpana was hanged before a crowd of people who were shouting forgiveness, demanding the halt to the execution. Warning! Ground in the Iranian capital sinking at an alarming rate. Iranian regime officials again warned that the ground around the capital city Tehran is sinking and it will not be long before the subsidence begins affecting the centre of the 10 million population city. In summer, the head of the mapping organisation had warned that the subsidence was picking up pace and approaching the Azadi monument. The ground in areas around Tehran is sinking at a rate of 26 centimetres or 10 inches a year, according to the regime's technical deputy of the organisation, and this is the reason the electrical grid faces problems. Iran's regime arrests five people, shuts down 13 shops for selling Western clothing. Iranian state-run media said that security forces arrested five shopkeepers and shut down 13 stores in al province for selling unconventional clothing. According to the official IRNA news agency, the head of the al Tazir organization said that 13 shops were closed after inspections were carried out in 150 clothing stores in the province. Ali Akbar Matori added, Buying and selling clothes with Latin letters, signs and designs for Western music bands and groups, and in general clothing that conflicts with Islamic culture and values is banned in shops. <laughs>